And I think at Cursor, we're, we're AI native in everything we do. When we started actually outbounding, we saw that there's a huge opportunity in the market for AI coding tools. And we want to make sure that we're the tool of choice for every developer. So you had to take a decision of like hiring 100 people versus three people with AI. How much can those three people with AI do? To really be at our core of an AI first company, we use AI to code, can we use AI to grow? And you guys chose three with AI. We what? had an experiment and we hit all our numbers. And really? our goal was to generate a specific amount of pipeline, like initial calls booked with decision makers. Um, and a lot of companies we're trying to talk to, at least one person is already using Cursor. How do you feel about rolling this out to your entire org? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen a couple of these posts and it's kind of interesting how you can see the LM really wants to accomplish something. So sometimes it tries to like go like around protection and things like this. But there's an even stronger story here, I think, and an even stronger like need to build more security features about LMs as they are kind of unpredictable. So for example, now you could also create one hook that says like, if my command includes any of like these dangerous like commands, it's RMRF or it's like drop table, anything like that, we can actually stop that deterministic for you. Um, so hopefully, the plan is to build this like as an open format where people can install this into cursor as files. I mean, if we could get a virtual environment where we can always trust that nothing will be deleted, that would be the best case scenario. 